Hi, my name is Victoria Tang, and I am a Geriatrician and Quality Scholars Fellow here at the San Francisco VA Medical Center. Currently, the guidelines recommend that colorectal cancer screening should be targeted to older adults with an extended life expectancy. This is because the potential risks associated with the colorectal cancer screening, such as perforation of the colon, are immediate, while the benefits aren't seen for many years. So in patients with a limited life expectancy, colorectal cancer screening would expose them to the immediate risks in exchange for a small chance that they would actually see benefit. In order to accurately predict which patients are more likely to benefit and which patients are more likely to be harmed, we conducted a survival meta-analysis to determine how long it would take for flexible sigmoidoscopy screening to decrease the colorectal cancer mortality. We used the Cochrane Systematic Review, Medline, and Cochrane databases to identify large randomized controlled trials that compared flexible sigmoidoscopy screening to no screening. We then combined the results of four randomized controlled trials to obtain pooled annual risk reduction estimates. The estimates then allowed us to determine the time to specific absolute risk reduction thresholds. Our survival meta-analysis suggested that at five years, 0.3 deaths from colorectal cancer were prevented for 1,000 people screened. Colorectal cancer mortality steadily decreased with longer follow-up. At 10 years, 1.2 colorectal cancer deaths were prevented for 1,000 people screened. In order to target flexible sigmoidoscopy screening to those who will most likely benefit, we recommend first estimating a patient's life expectancy, and then recommending flexible sigmoidoscopy screening to those whose life expectancy exceeds the time it takes to see benefit. We suggest using an absolute risk reduction of one in 1,000. Using this threshold, here are our recommendations taking into account the patient's life expectancy. For patients whose life expectancy substantially exceeds 10 years, we recommend flexible sigmoidoscopy screening since the benefits of screening appear to outweigh the risks. On the flip side, for patients whose life expectancy is substantially less than 10 years, we would not recommend screening since the risks will likely outweigh the benefits. For patients with a life expectancy around 10 years, the risks and benefits of screening are similar in magnitude, suggesting that patient values and preferences should play a dominant role in screening decisions.